All right, let's finish up social studies for this week. I'm going to keep it easy on you. I'll go ahead and tell you there's no questions to answer today. Nothing to turn in, but there is an important lesson. And you girls will like this lesson because we've mainly been talking about men in the war, except today we talked about Abigail Adams and Phyllis Wheatley. Um, but today we're going to talk about a really cool lady during the war. So today you're going to listen to a real quick lesson about a lady named Molly Pitcher. And then your assignment is to watch the Liberty Kids video called Captain Molly and find out how women helped in the war. It's a really cool story about a really cool lady, and I know you girls will enjoy this today. So let's get started with our text. Molly Pitcher. She looks like a strong lady you would want to mess with, doesn't she? And she's loading the cannon. Let's figure out why they call her Molly Pitcher. Yes, there were women in the Revolutionary War. Women fought alongside men in just about every battle. There were women who walked alongside George Washington's Continental Army. There were women at Valley Forge. It was more than 100 degrees at the Battle of Monmouth in June 1778. During the battle, Mary Ludwig Hayes was bringing American soldiers water from a spring, ignoring the musket and cannon fire around her. After her husband was injured, Hayes took her husband's place at the cannon. At one point, a British cannonball flew between her legs and tore off the bottom of her skirt. Well, that could have been worse, she said, you think? As she went back to fire the cannon again, <laughs> she was one tough lady, huh? George Washington saw Mary Hayes in action that day and gave her a special award as a result. Margaret Corbin was at the Battle of Fort Washington in November 1776. After her husband was killed, Margaret took his place at the cannon and continued to fire it until she was wounded. Many years later, Corbin became the first woman in the United States to receive a military pension. That means she got paid for fighting in the military. The nickname Molly Pitcher became associated with women who traveled with the army and fought alongside men. We aren't certain of how this got started, but Molly was a very common woman's name at the time and water was delivered in pitchers. So the women would bring the men fighting. Uh, they would carry some pitchers of water to them for them to drink. And so the women that helped in the war got the nickname Molly Pitcher. Now, I want you to watch the Liberty Cooks video. You'll enjoy it. It's kind of sad um, because you'll see, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to watch it and find out. But it's a little bit sad today. And you'll see this woman, this woman, Captain Molly in action. Okay, watch that video. No questions for me today. Have a wonderful weekend.